Dear students, welcome to the class of uh, introduction to business or you can say business studies. Today's topic is business objectives. Students, every business has some objectives which is to be achieved eventually. So the objectives of business means the purpose for which business is established or run. The main purpose is to earn profit through sale of goods and services along with consumer satisfaction. Students, to me, the consumer satisfaction should be the most important objective of each and every business. Mind it. The business owners can determine the number of objectives that can lead towards achievement of their objectives. The number of objectives can increase or decrease with size and the nature of business. So the nature of business will determine the objective size. Here are few views about the objectives of business uh, from the management experts. F. F. Mauser says business objective means any goal that an organization or groups or you can say group seeks to achieve. Boone and Kurt says business objectives represent the desired outcome that management hopes to achieve eventually. Joseph T. Straub says objectives are results which are made to achieve. So in simple words, you can say objectives are desired outcomes for each and every organization, whether organization is small or large. So for the convenience or for easy understanding, classification of objectives are economic objectives, social objectives and national objectives. The detail of economic objectives, the first economic objective that is economic production. Business management can control cost of sales through economical production. The purchases can be made in economic order quantity and production can be made in economic lot size. Students next is profitable sales. Management can achieve economic objective of a profitable sales when sales volume is over and above the break even point. The profitable sales to a business are just like oxygen to the business. Every business in private sector seeks to earn reasonable profit. So you can say a profit is a driving force which encourages business as well as businessmen to put more efforts in business. The next economical objective that is use of technology. The use of technology is essential objective of a business enterprise. The development of new products and new designs are the results of technology. The search and development programs of business are useful to business. So when business are using technology with the help of the latest technology, they can produce more uh, usable things according to the requirement of the people. The next economical objective is survival of business. The management is interested in survival of business during first year of working. This period is crucial for every business. So business may fail due to poor management and shortage of capital. Make, make sure students, the management um, is considered the backbone of each and every business. So management must strive uh, in the early years for the survival of the business. The next is stability of business. The stability of business is possible if it is earning some sort of profit during its early life of business. The management can maintain the size of business through sound policies. So here, once again, you can see the dependence of uh, business or you can say the stability of business all depends on the management vision and decisions. The next category of objectives that is social objectives. The first social objective on your uh, screen that is fringe benefits. The business can provide fringe benefits to employees such as bonus, overtime pay, housing, health care, school and canteen facilities. Such facilities provide job satisfaction to employees. So these fringe benefits keep the soul and body of the employees together and give them a boost towards the development of the organization. The next social objective of uh, a business is quality output. Every business should have the objective of quality output in the market. Brand name is established for the product because people like the branded products in the market 
and especially in the 21st century the people are very much conscious about the branded products they like to buy branded things so preference should be given to the brand establishment the next social objective is reasonable prices reasonable prices here are considered a social objective of a business the customer must not feel that prices are high the benefits of products must be kept in mind at the time of fixing of prices because customers are very cautious about the prices they always evaluate prices with the benefits of the things so when the benefits of the things are much more than the prices they like to buy otherwise they will refuse to buy the next is fair wages to keep the body and soul together of workers fair wages policy should be the objective of each and every business mind it when the wages are less than the energy taken from the workers or uh, employees they will not feel satisfaction while working and you can see they are physically there in their business place but they are mentally somewhere else so to keep the body and soul together of workers fair wage policy should be adopted to the management uh, for a success of business next is safety measures measures to protect the life of employees and general public are social objective of a business proper planning must be made to ensure safety measures during working working hours so safety comes first to the employees or to the workers of each and every department in a business next is apprentice training the business owners can provide training to jobless people the trained workers after training can seek jobs or can start their own business to reduce the rate of unemployment so business provides training and such training helps the society to get further better jobs or to start their own businesses the next objective is cleanliness cleanliness of dirty areas is the social objective the business can produce smoke gas and dust during the working operation the wastage used water and chemical can be drained in nearby areas so the foremost responsibility or objective you can say is to provide clean environment so eco environment should be the objective of each and every business the third that is a national objective which is price stability the stable price level at home is helpful in maintaining the foreign exchange rates or you can say to stabilize the exchange rates the price stability leads towards economic stability students the progress and prosperity of a nation depends upon price stability so where there in a country prices are stable not only the local investors are motivated towards the business even though the foreign investors uh, incline towards that business and they like to invest in those business, in those countries where prices are much stable next is full employment level business provides employment opportunities not only to the owners but also to the people of that vicinity the business can provide employment to the people on the basis of skill experience and qualification students remember the employment is only possible when the business are growing so business provides ample opportunity to the people of that area or vicinity to get employed students next is better living standard the business improves the living standard of people by providing jobs and by increasing their income so you can say increasing income means increase in their living standard the developed countries are rich on account of stable business activities while the underdeveloped countries are poor due to less business activities in their countries next is use of idle resources the proper use of idle resources is national objective of each and every business oil gas iron are idle resources considered so there is a need of money man machinery and methods to take out such items for the benefit of mankind the next one is favorable balance of payments 
it is national objective to achieve a favorable balance of payments. It is possible through more exports and less imports. So more exports possible students when your business, country business is growing and grooming and providing the things according to the requirement of uh, international standards. So the conclusion of whole discussion is the objectives are different from motives, aims as well as goals. The motives remain in mind and objectives have outward application. So aims and goals are specific and concrete in nature, but objectives are more general. So this is all about students, about the objectives of business. So students, you will get more videos regarding the upcoming topics in the coming days. So stay tuned.